as I'll go over these problems. So the first one that I just want to go over, which was what, cosecant of 34 degrees? Yeah. Which was, which problem again? 13. OK. So remember, if you're going to go ahead and evaluate cosecant at 34 degrees, we do not have a cosecant function on our calculator. However, remembering this, this is the reciprocal of sine, not the inverse. It's the reciprocal, right? Remember, we could say that the cosecant of x is equal to 1 over the sine of x, as in the sine of x equals 1 over cosecant of x, right? There are reciprocal functions. So therefore, if I want to evaluate this, and I only have sine, cosine, and tangent, and the inverse functions. But remember, these are not inverse functions. These are reciprocal functions. So at Dara, what I would do is I'd simply type in my calculator 1 over the sine of 34 degrees. Now, it's going to become very important, especially on your uh, exam, that you guys make sure your calculator, whenever you're doing trigonometric, that you need to understand what is my angle. Is my angle in radians, or is it in degrees? A very easy method is, obviously, if you have that degree, right, then you know it's in degrees. If you have the degree little dot. Obviously, if it's just a whole number and there's no degree symbol, then it's in radians. So I just make sure that I'm in degrees. And then I just do um, 1 divided by the sine of 34. And that is going to equal 1.788, as rounded as we need. OK? Four, decimals. Four decimal places. Three or four? Four is three. Okay, so. Oh, three. Three. Yes. You said make sure it's in degrees or is it in radians. Can you just put a pi in radians? You have to make sure your calculator function is in degrees or yeah, radians. I can show you how to do that on that calculator. 